What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today we have the uh, full card list for the uh, Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh, as well as the different rarities that are going to be in this set, and also for people that may be wondering if you may have forgotten that this set will be released on the 16th, which is this Friday, so of course I will have a box opening when it's released, and probably some pack openings too after that. So with this, of course, this being a Duelist Pack, there are 5 cards per pack, as well as uh, 36 packs per box, so in case people are wondering, it's similar to the Millennium Pack that we got in the past, as well as the uh, Battle city packs for people that may be confused on what a duelist pack is so there are no secret rares in this set there are only ultra rare supers rares and commons so i thought i'd go through the list real quick on them and then talk about the more notable and best cards that are in this set so here we go first off with ultra rares we have silent swordsman silent magician silent paladin uh, neutron blast lullaby of obedience and uh, dark sanctuary then after that, moving on to Super Rares, we have Silent Sword Slash, Silent Burning, Magnet Reverse, Magnet Force, Tribute Burial, and Silver's Cry. And then, of course, moving on with our Rares, we have uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Castle of Dragon Souls, Dark Magician of Chaos, uh, Dragon Master Knight, Dragon Shrine, Dragon's Mirror, Fiend Sanctuary, Metal Reflect Slime, Thousand Eyes Restrict, and YZ Tank Dragon. And then, of course, with comments, I guess I'll just name them off. We can go through them pretty quickly. And they are Blast Held by Tribute, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, Dark Necrofear, a Dedication Through Light and Darkness, Destiny Board, Exchange of the Spirit, Green Gadget, Red Gadget, Yellow Gadget, Help a Whimmer, uh, Miskel Beast Circuit, Necroface, Sangin, with its new effect, by the way. This is the errata effect of Sangin. Then uh, we have uh, Silent Magician Level 4 and Level 8, Silent Paladin Level 3, Level 5, and Level 7. The Spirit Messages are all in this, so A, I, L, and N, Stronghold Moving Fortress, and Temple of the Kings. So, yeah, I knew it was probably a little bit monotonous to name through all those, but since it's Duelist Pack, there's not a ton of cards in this set, I thought I could just breeze through them real quick. So, yeah, what are the more notable cards in this set? Well, first off, you're getting the new Silent Support, so you're getting Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician, which is... Probably the closest thing we've had to level support in quite a while. I'm looking forward to both these cards mainly because I really like them. I think they're a lot of fun to use and they just look epic. And uh, also what's notable on this too is that we're getting Silent Paladin, which is a V-Jump promo for Japan. So we're getting that and it doesn't look like they sent to the artwork either. So that's pretty cool. And then also uh, Dark Sanctuary is actually, it was a rare for Japan. It's going to be an ultra rare for us, which is kind of cool because it's one of the main cards a lot of people are going to be after. I feel like from the set, just because Bakura used it, it's the one with all like the eyeballs that are everywhere. I think, what was it? A continuous spell or is it? field spell i think it's a field spell if i remember correctly but anyway it's cool to see it as a holographic and i think it's going to look a lot cooler like that anyway so i'm, I'm kind of happy about that to be honest and then with super rares you're getting you know some more of your silent support with a uh, sword slash and burning so those cards are pretty cool also some of the magnet support with a uh, reverse and force which are going to be uh, cards that are, might be worth picking up because of the uh, Yugi structure deck, since we're seeing new magnet support in that, as well as with the Kaiba uh, structure deck, we're seeing, uh, of course, the ABC and XYZ support, so that's the reason, too, why in the rares we're seeing uh, YZ Tank Dragon on that, so that's kind of funny to see a reprint. And then, of course, uh, seeing Silver's Cry as a super rare is pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to picking up a few of those as super rares, so that's pretty cool, just kind of a rarity increase, so it, it's kind of neat to see that, and that will definitely uh, look cool with uh, my Blue Eyes build, as well as Red Eyes, so I'm happy to see that myself and then with rares uh the more notable ones are probably uh dragon shrine and dragon's mirror just because first off dragon's mirror has been a common for quite a while i think it was reprinted later on it's like a super and in, in like one of the reprint sets but it's been like a three dollar common for the longest time so it's cool to see it get a reprint and it hopefully will be a lot easier to get even as a rare and dragon shrine that's another one that definitely need to reprint Still kind of weird, though, to see uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, uh, Dark Magician of Chaos, and Dragon Master Knight as rares, though. I mean, those three just seem... I don't know. It's just always cards like that that get, like, a rarity decrease that have been, you know, those big-time sought-after cards, nostalgic cards like that. That just always seems weird when that happens, but, you know, be easier for people to get, so that's always cool. And uh, let's see, uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. That's a nice reprint as well. And then after that, moving on to commons. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of what we expected on that. You're getting, you know, the Silent Paladin, Silent Magicians all reprinted on that. Some of Bakura's cards being uh, the different uh, spirit messages and stuff, Destiny Board. And then, of course, seeing the gadgets getting reprinted is really nice too because we had got uh, silver and gold pretty recently. So I guess if you didn't have the gadgets already, which they weren't really tough to get, but if you didn't have them, there you go. There's another way to get them. And uh, Necroface also being reprinted in this. And Miskabee Circuit, as well as Temple of the Kings. So those are pretty notable reprints as well. 
But yeah, what do you guys think about this set? For me, I think it's pretty cool. It's a more nostalgic set. It's kind of like the past delicious packs have been, where there's a few cards that I know a lot of people are going to be after. Other than that, it's going to be mainly just for nostalgia. I mean, it looks like a pretty cool set, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting a lot of the cards from it. I mean, I mainly want Silent Swordsman and Silent Magician just because of what they are, and just seeing some kind of level support I think is pretty cool. But uh, other than that, it is cool to see a Silent Paladin getting uh, printed over for our version of this, as well as seeing Dark Sanctuary being an ultra rare. So I'm looking forward to that and getting Silver's Cry is probably the, the best reprint, I would say, out of this, or at least for me. But yeah, what do you guys think about the set? You plan on getting any of these packs or not? Like I said, it's a little bit more nostalgia, so I know a lot of people are getting kind of sick of seeing the nostalgia for the original series, but for me, I'm enjoying it so far, but I feel like they're kind of running out of ideas on what they're going to, you know, print from the anime, because just about everything from the anime, I feel like, has been printed uh, for the at least the original series. So I'm hoping that maybe this means that we'll see... Uh, Maybe the next duel spec have some to do with GX or 5Ds or something. I don't know. I'd like to see more archetypes that were anime only for those two series uh, getting printed next. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think about this and uh, what you're hoping for for the future of Duelist packs and just, you know, different anime archetypes in general, what you're hoping to see. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Again, subscribe to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! news. And of course, like I said, this Friday when this set is officially released, I'll do an opening on it. I do plan on getting a box and I'll probably get some packs too later on. But yeah, again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.